Hey everyone, welcome back, Wood Psych here. Uh, welcome anyone that's new to the channel as well. Um, hope everyone's doing okay out there. Yeah, this video here is the end of uh, the three-part series. We're finally going to wrap this one up. It's been going on for quite a while and I've been distracted by a, a lot of things work-related and uh, personal as well which I won't get into but anyway um, that being said uh, I just want to be putting out some videos now just to get back to the normal groove that I usually am accustomed to and uh, want to put out some new material as well so yeah this uh triptych is coming to its end here so it's more or less like a kind of an experiment see what's going on where we can go for the next project that's relief related like this so um right now i was just like messing around with the bark on this piece and uh which is a piece of oak wood from Netherlands. And uh, one of my subscribers, Matthew's Chainsaw Carving, which I mentioned in the last two videos, donated this uh, piece. So big thanks to Matt for that. Always welcome. So that being said, yeah, we're just doing the final wraps on this. It's going to be about 11 minutes long. So, it's not going to be terribly too long. So, but I'll have some chapter uh, time stamps here to, so you guys can scoot around without going through the whole thing if you uh, find uh, something a bit boring. Yeah, I'm using a carbide spherical, or not spherical, but like an oval shaped burr for this. Uh, the carbide burrs, I guess they could be used on stone, metal, and stuff like that, but I use them for wood as well. It's kind of a, more of an aggressive type of burr, so you gotta be a little bit mindful when using it. And these things last a long time, too. They seem to have a longer lifespan. I usually buy my carbide burrs uh, locally at, at the hardware store. Um, and all my saber tooth burrs I order online. Because the saber tooth burrs, they don't carry them locally in the store for some reason. They're not that. For some reason, they're only available online. Which is kind of wild. I guess there's a niche market for it, and there's not much of a demand for them yet but I'm pretty surprised by that being the fact that a lot of people are using those with the cut saw style as well they're basically similar I don't know how they uh, got around the patent laws because they both seem identical almost as far as their design goes so be something to check out you know when I have some extra time, I'll find out what the what's going on with that. It's kind of interesting um, question, I would say. Yeah, this piece been up below this guy's nose here on the left is uh, somewhat fragile. It's like uh, not securely attached underneath, so I got to be careful with this one. Yeah, you may have noticed the looseness of it in the previous uh, scenes here. But, uh, yeah, now I'm deciding to go torch on this. Just want to bring out some highlights. It's a common thing to use, I guess, with uh, chainsaw carving, too. For the finished product. For some highlights. 
this one I'm going to like hit with some steel wool afterwards and kind of temper it a little bit. Kind of blend it in so it's not as contrasty or harsh. Yeah, this is a refillable length torch. I'll have the equipment list at the end and also in the um, description if you're interested in the tool list. But anyway, um, butane filled piezo electric uh, ignition. So that's uh, the way it's ignited with a little trigger. And uh, that's a recent addition to my tool arsenal. And uh, don't regret buying it at all. It's uh, fairly uh, affordable, I'd say, at $30, I think I spent on this one. There's all kinds of models out there, different kinds of torches and stuff like that. This is the kind of torch I think I've seen or they use it for jewelry too, like melting lead and stuff or silver, if I'm not mistaken. So it can be used for a myriad of other reasons and tasks. Actually happy to move on with this one so I can get on to bigger and better things. I kind of fell myself in a rut with this thing. Um, but I figured I'd try to finish it at least the best uh, to my ability. Um, I probably could have went a little further on it, but um, I decided, you know, the more time I spent on it, the more frivolous it was becoming. So um, I decided to put an end to the project here with uh, some torch work and now I'm using some uh, steel wool to temper out the charred areas a little bit. I'm just using some moderately coarse uh, steel wool here. Nothing too aggressive, you know. Just enough to knock off some of the charred charcoal surface and then the it could be hit with some varnish afterwards but i chose not to do it on this one i'll just leave it as is for now maybe in the future perhaps but right now i'm feeling more um like an itch to move on like i said and work on some uh wood spirit stuff, you know. Get that out of the way. Get back into the groove, more or less. Yeah, I've also been busy uh, doing some excavation on my property. And so I'm going to do some slight um, documentation of that. I'll throw some of that up too as well. Because I think it um, deserves some kind of attention. I mean, for the fact that it's going to be not your typical kind of dwelling. It's going to be a little different. So who knows? Maybe you guys can throw some ideas out there as well. Which I'm all for. So anyway, yeah, I'll throw a few videos up here and there in between the carving videos. Hopefully uh, they won't inundate the channel, but I'm sure they won't. I'll keep it at a minimum because the most important thing on this channel is more or less uh, wood carving. So I'll keep it at that. But anyway, just to throw it in for variety's sake, I guess. But um, until now, um, I'll be throwing a few other face videos up which uh, I'll give you a preview at the end of this video of my next piece coming up so 
you guys get uh, understanding what the next piece is going to be. So, just a little touch up with the Dremel here. Get some spots where I felt needed attention. But anyway, yeah, here's the final piece, I guess. Uh, hopefully it's not too cheesy, but I think it's all right. Just for like a side project. But um, yeah, anyway, um, take care. We'll see you on the next one.